Who controls the narrative? We're living in a world where everyone's desperate to control the narrative. There seems to be uh, a bit of a mob culture in the media at the moment where you know everyone has to think in a certain kind of narrow way and anyone who thinks outside that box or has a different opinion uh, gets castigated. And uh, you know it is it can be influenced in many kind of ways. It can be straight through the news, it can be through movies, it can be through television programmes where like subtle storylines are, are woven in to make you think a different way. And you know the topics range from anything from um, you know, sexuality to spirituality, uh, from sociology to psychology, and uh, and there's a narrative that uh, is getting uh, dished out the of uh, conformity. There's also a narrative going on at the moment as well with this coronavirus. You know, there's there's like two kind of battles going on really between. You know the, what the mainstream media are saying and what uh, people on YouTube are saying. Some might refer to them as conspiracy theorists. And um, you know everyone seems to be fighting for this narrative, trying to control the narrative to say exactly what's going on. And we just don't know. We just don't know. But in this battle, you know, and it can be quite disconcerting. You know, uh, when you hear some things and you watch certain things. You know, it can be very doom and gloom and quite upsetting. And I can understand why some people would just want to switch off from all of that. Uh, especially people who, uh, if it's affecting the the mental state, you know, it's, it's obviously not good for them. But, you know, who does control the narrative? Who does control the narrative? Well, I'll tell you. It's God. God controls the narrative. And uh, I'm reminded of that. I'm going to pick up a Bible and I read passages like Job chapter 42, verse 2, which says, I know that you can do all things and that no purpose of yours can be thwarted. So as, as well as people trying to control the narrative and people come trying to control even the future and use, exploit this virus as an opportunity for their own ends, which you see uh, in a lot of places, we don't need to worry because nobody can be, no human can have that amount of control over the world for any length of time. And I'm reminded of, you know, a great hymn, which goes like this. I do not know what lies ahead, the way I cannot see. Yet one stands near to be my guide, he'll show the way to me. I know who holds the future and he'll guide me with his hand. With God, things don't just happen. Everything by him is planned. So as I face tomorrow, with its problems great and small, I'll trust the God of miracles and give to him my all.